Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we would be starting with the chapter 8 of uh, your NCRT class 11th book and we would be studying about strings. So we have uh, uh, studied previously also that there are uh, different types of data types or <laughs> different data types that are allowed in the Python programming language and there are sequence data types and one of them is strings. So we would be studying in detail about strings in this chapter. So starting with what are strings? So as I said that it is a sequence data type. Now what do I mean by sequence? Sequence in respect to Python programming language means a group of items, a collection of items. That means this data type would contain multiple values. Okay. Now it is an ordered sequence or an ordered collection of items. So as you will study ahead also that sequence data types can be ordered or they can be unordered. In ordered sequence data types, the order in which or the position at which different uh, values are present matters whereas in unordered data type the position at which different elements are present does not matter even if you change the position in unordered collection of items or in unordered data types that particular sequence will be considered the same but for ordered sequence data types if you change the order in which the same values are present it will give rise to a new data type of the same uh, new variable of the same data type okay so for example if i have a string say a b c okay and this is the uh, the order of the elements in this string is a is coming first then b then c now if i create b a c then this particular string is a different string compared to the original string even if the characters the values in the string are the same but the other date in other data types there are some sequence data types in which changing the order will not matter but as far as uh, strings are concerned this is a collection of multiple values and each item is present at a particular position or an index okay so we also say that each item is indexed by an integer so every item will have an index which is the position at which that particular value or item is present in that sequence data type okay so as i just specified if the string is a b c then a is at the first position b is at the second position and c is at the third position okay we will study about the indexing in the next video in detail but till now uh, as of now you must only remember that string is a collection of values that is why it is a sequence data type and it is an ordered data type ordered sequence data type in which each item will have a unique integral position which is also called as the index of that item okay so uh, what kind of values are present in this sequence data type only unicode characters are allowed in the string data type and what consists of unicode characters i have, I have created a separate video on ascii and unicode characters so uh, any digit that means any number any special symbol and uh, any alphabet small case uppercase and anything that comes under the unicode character set is allowed in the string data type okay now while writing or specifying any string data type you must enclose that data that variable or that value in either single quotes or in double quotes or even in triple quotes so writing single and double quotes serves almost the same purpose but when you write a string in a triple quote it ed allows you the additional functionality of extending the string to multiple lines without uh, specifying any additional character okay so if you write a string in uh, multiple lines it will cons it will be considered as a single string without any new line character and the python interpreter will interpret it understand it that it since it has a triple quote it this string will expand multiple lines okay so coming to examples of strings now uh, uh, 
as I said that uh, you can either use double quotes, single quotes or triple quotes. So this is a string named S1 which I have written in double quotes and the value of the string is hello. Hello consists of multiple Unicode characters, five Unicode characters H, E, double L, O. Then there is a second string called the variable S2 contains the value world which again is a sequence data type because it consists of multiple characters which are W O R L D all are Unicode characters enclosed in single quotes. So strings would always be enclosed in quote characters. This is a very distinguishing characteristic of any variable belonging to this data type. Okay. And the last is the string that contains that is contained inside triple quotes and in this uh, the as you can see the string expands or is written across multiple lines however the python interpreter will consider it as a single string without new line characters okay so this was all about an introduction to what are strings in the next video we would be understanding how is uh, how does exactly indexing works in strings okay so uh, till then till we meet in the next video mind your exam in in case you have any doubts let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching